Hello everyone, this is Finette from Fang and Scrapping. I'm here with you, believe it or not, to do another car. And it's a Christmas car. It's the first time I did a Christmas car, so let's get started with it. The cartridge that I'm using today, this one is by Close to My Heart Art Philosophy. I use that for my sentiment. Um, this is Winter Wonderland by Anna Griffin. I got this when it first came out. My mom actually gave it to me. Um, we have Quiet Book, which I'm using this image right here. My, um, I've had this one for a while. I think it's the first time I used it. And then we have A Quilted Christmas. I've used this one before, uh, a few years back. And then I have my papers I'm using. This one is by Recollections. It's called Starry Night. I know that I got this one last year. And it was a hot buy. So that's that one. Then I have some uh, uh, um, American Craft Foil Paper. It just has different foil papers in it. This one's pretty old. I bought this quite a few years back. And then this one... It's just recollections, just all type of glitter paper. And I got this one actually this year at the Black Friday sale. So I had some trouble with my camera and I had to start over. So uh, some of the stuff is already in process. Sorry, it happens. So the first thing, let me show you the inside of the card. Um, I did, I used this this Jesus is the reason for the season this is a stamp set by hero arts that I got last year um but it's let me see if it's on the back it doesn't have the name of it the number is CL559 but this was a last year stamp you might can order it offline um and then this border here is done with my Martha Stewart punch, a snowflake. This paper, this glitter paper, is from Joann's. Um, it was from Hot Off the Press. I got this at the Black Friday sale this year. It was half off. And that die, the imprint is one of the die cuts you'll see on the car. The Cricut Explorer cut it beautifully, and you'll see. Um... And these stars on here also came from a die cut that the Cricut Explorer cut. They were extra pieces. Didn't want to throw them away. So I added them to the inside of the card. The outside, I had already started and then I had trouble with my camera. And so I had to um, start over a little bit. So I've already, this was what came from the quiet book. And I already glued it down. And this came from um, A Quilted Christmas. And I've already put it down. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is my um, wise man here. And it came off of Quilted Christmas. He's cut it two inches. But there is a lot of pieces to this. So what I did using my Cricut Explorer was I flattened it. So it would cut it all as a print and then cut. And that way I wouldn't have to try glue. I never would have got these little bitty pieces glued together. And then just to add a little accent to it, I um, added my Winkler Stellar and gave it a little shine. Let me show you one, how I did it. I cut the base of this plain base three times. Okay, I cut the base three three times okay sorry about the movement of the camera guys and then I flattened it so it would um, give me that and I wouldn't have to try to glue all those little pieces together so and then I took excuse my reach my little two-way glue pen
and glued him down. Okay. And then because I had already did some of this ahead of time, I I put it, they're all on pop dots. Okay. So I'm gonna peel the pop dots off. <sighs> um I normally I have not done one Christmas card for this year. So I don't there will not be any Christmas cards growing out going out. Um, I'm doing this one for a contest that I'm trying to enter. So, wish me luck. Okay. So, that's that one. Uh, I think I just peeled the sticky off. It's Saturday. It's, um football championship day and um, I'm a football person but I decided to do this video so here's the next one okay and my next one okay and you'll see where this is going once I put my sentiment on here so, um, I don't know where you guys are, but it's hot. Have y'all finished your, all your Christmas shopping? I don't really have that much to do. My kids are, um, are grown. They're 26 and 23. So, I don't really have to do all that, you know, with them. You just give them a little bit of change and they're content. And um, pretty much anything I want, I do all year. So now, here is what I cut from the art philosophy cartridge. This is the way it comes, and it comes with a border. But what I did with my Cricut Explorer is I duplicated it. I duplicated it, and I made two more pieces using that. And so that created... A shadow for it okay and the stamp I'm using today is by scrappy moms and it's called um, Christmas cheer this is a scrappy mom stamp I just got this not too long ago and the sentiment I'm using off of it says wise men still seek him so now you get the theme of my um, card so let's get my stamp and let's get this on here I'm not really feeling the best today. Um, so I thought I would scrap, I'll make a card or scrapbook or something and see if, see if I felt a little bit better. But I have to decorate my daughter's um, graduation hat. So I thought I'd do this. And then do some of my chores, and then maybe tonight and after church, I will start my daughter's hat for graduation. That's going to be cute. I may not um do a video on that, but I'll post it on my Facebook page, which you can find under Fanette, F-A-N-N-E-T-T-E-W, Cook, C-O-O-K. And I do post stuff on Pinterest under Fanette Cook. So... You probably can find the pictures of it um, on there. Because I probably won't do a video on it. Okay. But you'll see it. Okay. So there is that. Let me show you what it came out to look like. And now I'm going to put it on here into my Zyron X make it simple okay and then place it down I just finished 
before I did this, I just finished getting my tree down. Now, you remember that old called IROC machine that was heating? I think I'm going to add that. Um, to this. This old IROC machine just to give it a little decoration. Remember these? I still use mine. So I like it. Not about anybody else, but I still like mine. So I still use it. So I'm going to put it down. There. And then I'm gonna put the other one on. Like that. Does it seem extremely quiet in my house? <laughs> my my husband's out. He's out doing some stuff and it's just me. I kind of like it, the peace and the quiet. I don't know about anybody else, but I like it. So that's going to go there. Sorry. Now, let me show you what I got for my Cricut Explore, the Winter Wonderland cartridge that I love so much. This die cut here, she is a gem. This outfit, this is off the Winter Wonderland cartridge, that Anna Griffin cartridge. It's it's the one of the favorite things. So now you see where that star came in. I didn't want to waste it. Let me tell you how I did this. I cut the base because it comes in four pieces. There are four pieces to this. I cut the base twice and then I put some um, dimensional tape in between there. Then I glue one of the bases and one the first piece together. Then the last two pieces, I glue them together and put it on dimensions. And now I'm going to put this down. Like this. And line it up. Okay, let me move this so you can see what I'm doing here. Oops. And then I'm lining up the stars so it'll be right. Okay. There she goes. Isn't this lovely? And the base, I'm not going to pop up on Pop Dots because it already has so many dimensions. But I'm just going to put it down with my little um, glue here. Okay. I'm almost, this is almost out. So I need to put some glue in it. Um, and we put this down. Here and this um, already has a lot of dimension to it, so I'm gonna leave it flat and I'm going to run it through my X. Can y'all tell I use this X a lot? <laughs> it's just perfect, it just makes things easy. So I do use it a lot. Oops, I got the dropsies. I might should not have even attempted this today. I got the dropsies, I'm dragging. So here's my sentiment going down, okay? I absolutely love this car. Somebody may actually get this car for Christmas. What do you think? So this is it. 
it said wise men still seek him and I have wise men and the baby and the shining star um, even though those of us who are Bible scholars know that actually when the wise men showed up baby Jesus was probably about two years old but this is the scene that we we, we often see um, with it so we we do know that but we love to celebrate the birth of Jesus with it um, remember so this is the card thank you for watching one thing I want to share with you and since it's a Christmas card and we're talking about the birth of Jesus there are scraps everywhere these are pieces that I cut and we thank God for his birth because just like we, we cut we cut pieces and shabs and they look like not much. It's the thing that Jesus did with our life. He takes the pieces of it. He takes pieces of it and puts it together to make it a beautiful life and what he will have it to be. So remember that. Remember to create something beautiful. Remember that you're beautiful in God's eyes and there's nothing you can do about it. God bless you. Have a good day.